What's good, fam? Hi, OBA. I'm TC. So, by now everybody's heard uh, about the tragedy um, involving Nipsey Hussle. Young brother had a lot of potential. I didn't know that much about him. I'm going to go ahead and admit that. But the more I find out, the more I realize what a uh, rising star he was. Um, it's a sad day indeed. It really is, man. Um, I'm going to come back to that, though. But what I really want to talk about is the the fact that, you know, so many people are, you know, when they talk about what happened to him, they talk, they talk in terms of, like, they don't want to call themselves a conspiracy theorist. They don't want to say, you know, that, you know, that there was a... a, a that there was a conspiracy involving, you know, what happened to him. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. And before I go on to what I'm going to tell you, I'm about to, my, my, my little channel here is starting to, you know, get a few, get a few subscribers on it. And before I start to get uh, a bunch of subscribers who, who who don't really understand what kind of guy TC is. I'm going to break it down for you real quick right now. I'm I'm the type of brother who feel like who feel like everything is a motherfucking conspiracy. Okay? To me, if three people get together and decide that they want to go to a certain restaurant to have lunch... That, to me, is a goddamn conspiracy, right? The minute any two people get together and form an idea and, 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 and take that idea and, and, and go into action based on that idea, they've conspired. That's, that's just how I feel about it. Um, I feel like the United States history is filled with fucking conspiracies that were once theories that turned out to be true. And you can go right down the list. And recent memory is 9 fucking 11. I'm still pissed off about 9 11. I'm real mad about 9 11 because so many people died and are still dying as a result of that lie, that conspiracy. Now, if you believe the official story or if you believe, you know, what the so called conspiracy theorists are saying, either way, it's a fucking conspiracy. If you believe 19 guys with box cutters hijacked four airplanes, flew two, um, three of them into, um, into buildings, two at the World Trade Center and one at the Pentagon, and crashed one into, motherfucking, into the ground in Pennsylvania. If you, believe, if you believe that, then those 19 guys plus Osama bin Laden had to conspire to do that. There's your conspiracy. If you believe that it was bullshit and that it was some, in, it was an inside job, then there's another conspiracy. No matter how you cut it, it's a fucking conspiracy. You dig me? That's how I feel. I feel like I feel like I'm old enough to remember when um, when um, the fact that uh, JFK was found out to be killed by more than one shooter um, back in the '70s. It was a conspiracy that had, that turned out to be true. It turns out that they really are such a thing as chemtrails. You know, we, global warming is a real thing. Uh, the climate change is a real is a real thing. You can see it all around you. Yet people try to tell you that it's not real. People don't want you to believe your own fucking eyes. They want you to believe what you're being told so that you stay in line. No, it's not like that. If it, it, it's probably some motherfuckers behind it, pulling the fucking strings to achieve or or or, or fulfill an agenda that they have. So, a young cat like Meek Mill had uh, Meek Mill. A young cat like um, Nipsey Hussle had all the potential in the world to be a really great man. Had he been allowed to live. Same with Tupac. Had Imagine if Tupac was alive now. What would he be doing? How much noise would he be making? He'll have a fucking YouTube channel. With. Five million fucking followers. J. Edgar Hoover. Said himself. That. 
there can never be, you know, we cannot allow the rise of another black messiah. Words to that effect. We, we, we cannot allow that. No more Martin Luther Kings or Malcolm X's can, can, can be allowed to come about. So that's why now you don't get behind a, a one individual. You get behind the ideology like ADOS. You see. Right? Like the reparations movement. Right? But ain't, it, to me, it ain't no accident that these young that these young men with all this potential are getting done, are getting neutralized early in life in their 30s. There's somebody watching, somebody making sure that they don't get they don't get to take off and that they don't get to reach their full potential and they don't get to galvanize the power of black America or of black people in the whole fucking diaspora. You feel me? So a brother like a brother like Nipsey Hussle, I I I I, I can only say that I believe that it's going to come out sooner or later that, um, or it might not come out, but I do believe that sooner or later it's going to be found out that there was a lot more going on there involving his death than, 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 than what the news media is going to be telling us. They already, they already talking about that gang affiliation shit, but I don't believe that. I don't believe that. It's just like that Jesse Smollett shit. When it first came out, white people was all over that shit, and then it turned out he he turned out to be a, a big fucking liar. And now they got egg on their face, and they mad about that. And they mad about that. And then he gets the charges dropped. That's a bunch of bullshit. That's a fucking rabbit hole right there. You know. So I just feel like I just feel like it's a sad day. I feel like the next brother to come out. And has the 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 uh, the intentions of a guy like Nipsey Hussle or a man like Tupac. I don't know. Tread lightly. I don't know what to say. I just watch your fucking back. I don't know what to say. I just know that it ain't just somebody just rolling up on you out of nowhere and just shooting you and killing you just because they don't like the fact that you are doing well. A lot of motherfuckers out here doing well. And, and the fact that that he was about to take on Big Pharma. He was about to take on Big Pharma. He really was. Dr. CB died because he was trying to take on Big Pharma. You know? I mean, why is it so hard to, for some people to believe that the government, that their government would lie to them? That their government, that powerful people don't get together and have a plan to control the, the masses. Why is it? Why is that so hard for some people to believe? I don't know. Why is it hard for people to believe that that candidates, that 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 crooked politicians and crooked judges, and, and, and that they they purge people from the voting rolls in order to prevent people from casting the ballot. And, and they get together and they come up with these fucking plans to do this. They conspire to do this. This is not some idea that some... These aren't ideas that some guy just came off the top of his head with. Motherfuckers sit down, plan it, and put that plan into action. And and next thing you know, twenty or 30,000 people get their votes thrown out. This shit happens every day in this country. This whole country is from... From day one, it's built on people conspiring to control and make war and conspiring to kill and neutralize thousands and thousands of people. So this this thing with, with Nipsey Hussle, it, it, it probably is no different. It probably no different. Somebody saw him as being too fucking dangerous to be allowed to... To, to take one step further. That's how that's how I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it right now. And, and, and I'm gonna tell you something. If it was gang related and he did get 
killed by some rival gang over some bullshit, it would probably be the exception rather than the rule. Just like if 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 9/11, right? If 9/11 really went down the way they say it went down with the 19 terrorists and shit, that would be the exception rather than the fucking rule when you talk about how the United States government fucking operates. You know? So, when you come to my channel, just know that's the kind of person I am. All right? Get down into my comment section. I don't give a fuck because I probably won't see it anyway. You know, but I'm telling you, don't ever believe that the government of the United States or that powerful people in this country won't get together and come up with a plan to eliminate any threat to their power. Don't ever think that they won't do that because that's all they do. What you think? They just play golf and get drunk all night and, and chase, chase women? No, they have motherfucking me substantive meetings too, where they talk about what they what what their plans are next. I'm telling you, and 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 they're well aware of people like Tariq Nasheed and Jason Black and Professor Black Truth and excuse me, Antonio Morne, Yvette Carnell and Dr. Boyce Watkins and all, and they're well aware of them. Like I said in my in my uh, other video, they know everything about every motherfucking body. You know, they they, they might have been trying to set a, uh, tr trying to set a uh, an example. Use um use Nipsey Hussle as a uh, as an example. Stay in your motherfucking lane. Keep talking about keep talking about money and bitches and cars, and don't be trying to do nothing outside of that. Don't be trying to in inspire nobody. I don't put nothing past them. The United States government is petty, right? And 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 you might seem like, who am I? I'm just one guy. You know what I mean? I made a couple of million dollars. I'm doing okay. But no, it ain't about your couple of million dollars. It's about the example you set. It's not about your two or three or five million dollars that you made is the example you might be setting. You might be starting a trend. You know what I mean? A dangerous one that can't be allowed to continue. I mean, I different know. Think about some of the lies that, that I think about some of the lies that I heard when I was in my, in my younger years, like in my twenties and thirties. And I use this example. A lot of people might not be able to relate to this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Like, when I used to compete as a bodybuilder, right, I stayed natural for a long, long, long time. I stayed natural for 98% of my bodybuilding career, right? They natural. They didn't use no drugs, no steroids. But I would always hear doctors, doctors saying that steroids didn't work anyway. And I knew they was lying because the motherfuckers right next to me was pumped full of steroids and they was jacked like a motherfucker. Right? You see a dude benching 225 one week and three weeks later, three weeks later he doing 315 for reps like it ain't shit. Hey, damn, what happened to you? And then he'll come to the side, well, I took this, this, and this, and this is what happened. And then you see him in the show and, and, and he weighs the same as you but he half again bigger and harder and more cut and veiny. But the, the, the doctors, the physicians tell you performance enhancing drugs don't work. Don't use them. Turns out they do work. They work like a motherfucker. They work so much until they had to be banned. That's that. That's that's one lie. Another lie they used to tell me was like um, marijuana was uh, was more dangerous than cigarettes. Marijuana is more dangerous than cigarettes. That's what they used to tell us back in the day. I ain't even got to tell you how big a lie that is. But they used to pump that shit into our heads, and it was a gateway drug, and it was going to do all of these crazy and bad things to us. And then I ain't got to tell you about, you know, all of the lies they used to get us to go to war. 
So when people start telling you that, you know, it's wrong to 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 believe so-called conspiracy theories, tell them how full of shit they are. Because a lot of the so-called conspiracy theories of old have turned out to be absolutely true. And that trend is going to continue into the future. It usually takes about a generation, 25 years, for somebody to find out, you know, that a conspiracy from a long time ago uh, turned out to be true. I'm going to tell you something, though. Some conspiracies they can never admit to, like the one, like JFK and like 9-11. They probably can never admit that those things didn't happen the way they said they happened. But believe it, they did not go down the way that your government told you they did. You know, they did not. And your government sees the potential in young black men and it nips that shit right in the bud. Why do you think Tupac ain't around? And this young brother that just got killed. And countless others who might have shown a little bit of potential. They get their little low-level hit men to take care of that. If they don't outright assassinate them, they do the character assassination. One way or another, these brothers got to be neutralized. Anyway, this uh, this video running a little longer than I like for him to run, but I'm gonna continue on this as long as this thing, you know, <clears throat> as long as this thing stays stays uh, fresh in my in, in in the news cycle, because you know, two or three days from now it's gonna be something else. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for now, y'all. <sighs> Institute of Black Awareness, and I'm out.